Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do a very requested video, which is my favorite eye brushes. I've honestly kind of been putting off this video because I use so many eye brushes that it really overwhelmed me and I'm like, how am I going to pick my favorite ones? But I finally just sat down and I narrowed down the ones that I feel like are truly staples in my collection and that I feel like I would have to repurchase if I didn't have them anymore. I get quite a few DMs on Instagram asking me how I blend my eyeshadow so well and how I've improved makeup and stuff like that. Honestly, I think good eye brushes have really helped me. Now, I don't have any super expensive eye brushes that like the professionals use and stuff. I just haven't been able to pay the money for those. But I have been able to find some brushes that fit my eyes really well and have helped me just apply eyeshadow a lot better. So I hope that showing you these brushes, maybe you can try these out and they'll help you blend too. I think a huge key in learning how to blend your eyeshadow better is finding the right size of brushes for your eyes. So I have pretty small eyes and this one especially is like really hooded and so I found Finding small brushes really helped me because it just fit my eye better and it wasn't like overtaking my eye with a big fluffy brush, if that makes sense. So if you're struggling with blending your eyeshadow or you feel like your eyes are too small for all of these big brushes that you have and that maybe a lot of other people talk about, then I hope this helps you. So these are going to be my all-time faves, the ones that I couldn't live without. And there is plenty of other brushes that I like to use, as you can probably tell. In my tutorials, there's a lot of other brushes that I will use. So if you're interested in hearing those brushes, you can head over to my Twitter. I did a little uh, like thread a little while ago with all of my favorite brushes at that point, and it was easier to obviously just take pictures of them and post them. So there's probably going to be more pictures over there if you want to go follow me on my Twitter. It's at TessFX. And then also on my Instagram, sometimes I'll post about brushes in my stories if I find like a new brush that I'm obsessed with. So if you want to go follow me over there also, it's also at TessFX. If you're interested in seeing how I created this look, that video should be going up right before this one. So I'll link it down in the description below, but it's going to be like a fresh spring look as you can probably tell. Okay, and I'll shut up with the intro now and let's get into my favorite brushes. <laughs> So I'm going to be starting with blending brushes. Most of these should be clean for you because I just clean my brushes. I did just use this one in this look though, so sorry about that. But these are the three staple blending brushes that I came up with. They're all by The Makeup Shack. And I just thought I would mention this right here. If you're interested in any of these Makeup Shack brushes, I do have a code for 20% 20, 20 off. The code is TESSFX, and I do make a small commission if you use the code, just so you know. But I thought if you were interested in any of these brushes, you may want a discount code. Don't feel pressured to use it though. So the first one that I have here is the Makeup Shock T68. This one is just your regular big fluffy blending brush. I like to use this one for transition shades to blend them all throughout the crease. And then also I like this one for adding no product to it and just blending out the edges. It's for being this white hair, it's really soft compared to a lot of these type of brushes because they can be quite pokey, but this one isn't pokey at all, which is what I really like about it, and it's just the perfect density. I don't know if you can tell, but I'm gonna compare it to another brush really quickly. This one's by Makeup Addiction. As you can tell, they're kind of similar. Um, this one's obviously a little bit smaller, but if I turn it this way, I think you can tell that this one has a lot more bristles in it, and they're just more densely packed. And with the softness of it, it just blends out my eyeshadow so nicely in the crease. So this is one of my favorites for that. Next, I have a brush that's kind of similar. This is a Makeup Shack T87. And this one's just a bit more densely packed. And it's obviously a, made out of a different material. So it's like this duo fiber. So it's a lot more dense than even that last brush that I showed you. And it's a, a little bit finer than the previous brush. So this is what they look like compared. This one's obviously a little bit more fluffy than this one. So this one I like to go in usually after my transition color. And I'll use this brush to go right in my, like deeper in my crease. And I'll use this to kind of pack a punch with colors since 
of the material that it is made out of and since it's a little bit more dense it will pack a lot of color on but still blend out at the same time so and this one's also really soft so this is another one that i really like for blending and then also for blending this is the makeup shack t67 and this one's just a more tapered skinny type blending brush so this one will fit right in your crease really well um, and this one's just good for a little bit more detailing without being like super detailed if that makes sense It'll still diffuse the color, but it just fits in your crease a little bit better I'd say what are some popular brushes like the Mac 217 I believe I don't own that but I think this is like a similar shape to that and then also I do have the Morphe M433 which I believe they are pretty similar um, They both kind of have that tapered edge and are a little bit skinnier I don't know if you can tell on camera, the Makeup Shack one is a bit skinnier than the Morphe one and I like that since I have smaller eyes and they're a little bit hooded so this one just fits in my crease better but honestly both of them will do well. I just like to use this one a little bit more. Alright so moving on to one of my most important categories here that I think that there is are the detailed small blending brushes. These I feel like have helped my eyeshadow game so much. I honestly don't know what I would do without any of these brushes, at least one of these brushes. If you're doing really detailed makeup looks or you're trying to deepen up just one specific tiny spot in your eye, it can be really hard to use one of those previous brushes that I showed you, especially if you have smaller eyes. So these are some that I really recommend that you check out if you have smaller eyes or are having difficulty blending out your eyeshadow. So I'm going to start off with these two brushes. These are both Morphe brushes and they're the Morphe M507 and Morphe M506. So they're almost identical except for, I don't know if you can tell, but this one right here is just slightly more dense and pointed than this one is. So honestly, you don't need both of these, but I do like to have both. I do find that I probably use this M506, which is the little bit fluffier one, a little bit more often because it fits right into the crevice of my crease better than this one. This one has more of a point and I would end up using one of the ones that I'm going to show you in a second anyways. But I think if you were to have any of either of these Morphe ones, I would go with the M506 if you can't get both. But again, I really like this one not only to get right into the details of my crease, but I also like to blend out my lower lash eyeshadow with this one. It just fits on my lower lashes and smokes it out so perfectly. So M507 and M506 are great. And then the other two are two Makeup Shock brushes. This one is the T63, and it's kind of like that one of the previous brushes I showed you, which is the T87. It's like the little baby of this one, so this one's obviously a lot fluffier, and this one's a lot more pointy. They're made out of the same material, and they're both super soft. This one obviously just will fit into your crease a lot better. I also like this one to smoke out and get close to my lower lash line here, and this this one's kind of unique. I don't know how well you're going to be able to tell on camera, but it's not perfectly round. It is slightly pinched on the sides, so it has a little bit of a flatness to it, which makes it fit in your crease even better. So I really like this one, the T63. And then we have the Makeup Shack T14, which is probably the pointiest out of all of the ones that I've showed you. I'd say it's most similar to the M507 from Morphe. Here's the difference here and you can even tell that this one's a bit more fluffy than this one. This one's really good to get really close to your lower lash line, like I said before with the other ones, but this one's a bit more stiff. This one's almost similar to a pencil brush, but the bristles are a little bit longer and they do taper to kind of a point. So I really, this one is good for a lot of uses if you want to get really detailed on an inner part of your eye here. This one would be good for an inner corner. This is just like an all around good staple brush and it has some stiffness to it. So so it won't just kind of fluff the hairs every time that you go to try and blend it. So I really like this one. Next I'm going to move on to my favorite pencil brushes and I have three here all for three different reasons. I'm going to start with the biggest one here and this is the Makeup Shack T8 and this is just a big chunky pencil brush and this one I don't use for my lower lash line or inner corner 
like I would use any of the other pencil brushes. I like this one for the very outer corner of my eye and I just kind of stamp the color on or you can bring this one up into the crease also. It's really, really dense, so it will pack color on really well, and it's also a little bit more detailed, so if you wanted something a little bit bigger than, say, one of these little detailed brushes, but you still wanted it to be smaller than, you know, a normal blending brush, this is a really good one. Yeah, it's just a big, chunky pencil brush. Next is, like, your standard pencil brush, and it's literally the best pencil brush I will ever find in my life, I'm convinced. This is the Zoeva 230 Luxe Pencil Brush, and this is what it looks like. I'll compare the last one so you can see how the size difference is. This one isn't a lot smaller, but it's just a little bit more fine than this one, and it has a little bit more of a pointed tip. The thing that I love about this brush is the hairs on it. They're just the perfect softness. They're not scratchy at all. That is something that I'll mention about this brush. This is one of the more scratchy ones. So that's why I don't like to put it on my lower lash line here because it can be kind of scratchy, but it's good for my outer corner here. This one you can swipe all around your eye and it's not gonna ir irritate it. It's so soft. I think this one's a little bit more pricey than the rest of the brushes that I'll show you, but it's definitely worth it. I would buy 20 of them over again. And then finally, the tiniest little pencil brush. Brush. I'll compare these to the other two so you can see how baby it is but they all look like compared and this one is definitely a staple in my collection this one's good for so many different uses this one's really good to get a really precise inner corner it's good for your lower lash line and it's also good for really detailed looks so you can go back in some of my tutorials that I've done and if I do like a halo cut crease type thing where I want the deepest part of the crease to really really be black or something like that I'll go in with a brush like this and after I cut out my concealer and I'll pat the color on and it's just so small that it doesn't disperse the color everywhere so this is definitely a staple detail brush if you feel like you're having a hard time getting your eyeshadow deepened how you want to without it becoming really messy I don't know if I mentioned the name, it's the T65. Next I thought I would bring up a little set here. I don't think that these all come in the same set. I think they come in separate sets, but they come in a set of like one or two brushes. I think these ones come together and then this one might come different. But pretty much all of these Real Techniques brushes with the purple handles are really, really good. And they have a lot of really good detail brushes as well, which is what I'm gonna show you. So this one is like, if I need to put gel liner in my lower lash line, which if I want a eyeliner to stay in my waterline the best, I'll use a gel liner. And this one is just so tiny and perfect to get it right in there without it hurting your eye and getting all over in your eyeball. It's just like the most perfect little tiny detail brush and I feel like you could use this for the tiniest details on your eyes too. I've never seen a brush this small or this shape so it's a really unique one and it's really affordable. And then this one's kind of similar to a pencil brush I guess you could say but it's a little bit more rounded out. It's just another good one. You could use it for the inner corner. You could use it to blend out which is what I usually do if I want to get really detailed in the crease. That's a good one. And then this one's more of just a smudgy brush, so it's really dense and it's a little bit longer and chunkier, and it's really good to smudge out your lower lash line. And I just think these are really good and they're super accessible because you can just get them at Ulta. I thought I would also mention another brush set. This is by BH Cosmetics and it's their Rose Quartz brush set. I feel like I've mentioned this maybe in a previous video or something. I've definitely mentioned it on Twitter because a lot of times when I recommend BH Cosmetics, which they have a lot of quality stuff for super cheap and they always have sales going on, but it is kind of overwhelming to choose brushes from their website because most of their brushes are in sets and you don't know which ones have like the good sets or you're gonna use more of the brushes rather than just like one brush out of the entire set, you know? So this is always a set that I go to to recommend to people. This comes with eye brushes and face brushes. These are just the two that I pulled out that I use really frequently. This is a little detailed eye brush and it's kind of similar to the little detailed ones that I showed you before. And then this one is a little flat shader brush and it's kind of pointed at the very tip, which makes it really good to get really close on your inner corner. And it's pretty 
pretty dense so it packs a lot of color and both these brushes are just really good quality. I think the entire set for maybe 10 brushes is like $10 or something like that, but I would honestly pay like $30 for the set. It's such a good set. And if you're looking to buy some BH Cosmetics brushes, I would definitely get this set here. Next I'm gonna move on to my flat shader brushes and I have three here. I'm gonna start with the smallest one here because I feel like if you get any of these brushes, you should definitely get this one. This one's the most unique and I use it all the time. I actually have like three of them total because I love it so much. This is the Makeup Shack T58 and as you can see, it's just a tiny little flat shader brush. This is what it looks like compared to like an average size one, I would say. It picks up shimmer eyeshadow so well to where when you swipe it on your eye, you actually get payoff. Even if it's a shimmer eyeshadow, that doesn't necessarily work very well with a dry brush. And I really enjoy this one because it is smaller. So again, I have smaller eyes. I really like to work with smaller brushes when putting eyeshadow on my eyes. So if you have smaller eyes and you feel like all of your flat shader brushes just kind of take over your eyes, then this would be a good one to pick up. The next one is just your average flat shader brush. This is the Makeup Shack T52. This is what it looks like. And this one is definitely more flat when you turn it to the side compared to the last one that I showed you. But I really like this one because it is flat and it's pretty stiff. So that when you lay color down, it just lays it down really nicely. Um, this is just one that I really like and I like the shape of it. And then the last flat shader brush I have to show you is the Makeup Shack T53. This one's like the big sister to that first tiny flat shader brush that I showed you. They're made out of the same hairs and this one also picks up shimmer eyeshadows really, really well. Even the ones that don't pick up very well on like say a normal flat shader brush. These bristles just pick up the eyeshadow really well. This one's obviously a lot thicker than the other one, so I'll use this one when I don't really want it to be as detailed or in a specific spot and I'm going to swipe it over my entire eyelid. I really like this one. All right, next I'm gonna move into the tiny, itty bitty little detail brushes. And these I like to use for a ton of different things. I like to cut out my cut creases with these. I like to do my winged eyeliner with these usually. Um, even like ones like this, which I'll show you first, which I have mentioned in literally almost every single video that I've done. These are just so affordable and they work so well. Um, I'll even take something like this and if I wanna deepen up just the tiniest bit of my crease, say with black, I'll put a little bit of black eyeshadow on here and I'll run it right above where I cut out my crease and it just, I don't know, it elevates your eye look so to make it so much more detailed and I just, I just love it. So this one is from Amazon. I mentioned it in my Amazon Beauty Favorites. That'll be linked down below if you want to watch that if you missed it. I've mentioned it in pretty much every single video where I've cut out my crease and the eye look. Um, it comes in a set of 10 and these are just detail paint brushes. I think the set of 10 is like five, six dollars. So these are definitely worth getting. There's oh, there's flat shader brushes, there's liner brushes like these, there's 10 of them. You cannot go wrong with these. And the next one is kind of a similar brush to the last one. This one's just even tinier itty bitty. You can see how tiny it is there. And I got this one at Michael's. You can find brushes like this at pretty much any craft store. This is by the brand Artist Loft and it says 10-0 Vienna. So if you're going to Michaels and trying to find it, that's what it looks like. I'll try to do a close-up of the label so you can see what it looks like. But these are perfect for winged eyeliner, any type of graphic liner that you want to do. These are the ones that I'll use. Say you love a liquid liner but you don't like the applicator that it comes with. Putting the liner on this instead will just help you out a lot more. That's what I like to do. I use it with gel liner. These are just great for so many reasons. You can make little dots with them. There's just so many possibilities with these little art brushes. So tip of the day, if you need some more small eye brushes or just some eye brushes in general, go to the craft store and check it out because usually they're about the same price or even less than a normal eye brush would be. And the last detail brush I'm going to mention is the Sigma E06 Winged Liner Brush. This is one of the most unique shaped winged liner brushes that I've seen. I haven't seen anything similar to this. This is what it looks like and it's just the tiniest little winged liner brush and it's so good if you're struggling with doing winged eyeliner and you like to use wing 
or you like to use little angled brushes but you feel like they're just too big or something or too thick this one's just the perfect size to get super detailed I believe this one is a little bit more expensive than if you were to go out to the craft store and get a little detailed brush but this one is also more unique also and there's a ton of coupon codes out there for 10% off if you're looking to buy Sigma I have a coupon code I make money off of it it's test effects if you want to use it but don't feel pressured to but I do think this is a good one because it is so unique and I haven't been able to find anything similar to this and I use it all the time. I should have mentioned this one in the beginning I feel like so the majority of the people before they clicked away saw this because this is a very special brush but if you stayed this long then you get this top secret information. It's not top secret but I have been using this brush so much. I think I've mentioned it on my Instagram. This is just such you would think this is like a gimmicky brush right like it's a little silicone flappy weird brush and you would think okay that's one of those like cheapo little things that you would get with a palette that you would never use that's how i felt when i got it until i used it for the first time so they market this as like a glitter applicator which is how i used it the first time and it works so good if you have loose glitter and you hate using it because it's just a mess to apply it definitely pick up one of these. This is, I don't think I mentioned, it's the Makeup Shack T69 and you just put your glitter glue on and you dunk your brush into it, this little silicone brush into it, and pat it on and it's the most mess-free loose glitter applicator ever and it's super easy to clean also because you can just take a makeup wipe and wipe it off as if you were using a brush with glitter and the glitter gets stuck in all of the hair bristles. This one's just so good for that. It's good for using with loose pigments. I've done that on an Instagram tutorial over on my Instagram if you want to go see that in action. And then finally, I figured out that if you use it with those eyeshadows that just don't apply well with a brush, you have to use like Fix Plus with it or it won't work good. And even then, maybe it won't work good. You have to use your finger to apply the eyeshadow. I hate using my finger to apply eyeshadow, especially with when I have claws on. It's just, it doesn't work. You can't get detailed. And this one obviously has a little point. So if you use this, it's a lot more detailed than if you were to use your finger. So I'm going to show you a little demo really quick. This right here is the Anastasia Prism Palette. I do like this palette, but some of the shimmers don't apply very well with a normal brush. So for the example, I'm just gonna use the color Sphinx right here, and I'm gonna go in with one of these brushes that I showed you earlier. This is just the regular flat shader brush, and then I'm also gonna show you swatching it with this little silicone brush. So I'm just tapping it into the pan a couple of times. I'm gonna do it the same amount and I'm gonna show you live swatches of what it looks like. This actually seems to be one of the better colors, but as you can see, there's pigment there, but it's not super metallic. Like, it just doesn't show the metallicness very much. So now I'm gonna go in with the silicone brush, and this is what it looks like on the silicone brush, if you can tell. It just picks up the pigment so easily because it's like that silicone sticky feeling. And I'm gonna swatch this one right next to this one so you can see the difference. You can see that is one swipe, and can you see how much more metallic that is? So I'll go over a couple, sorry, it's hard to show you, but I'm just swiping it on like I did the other one. And you can tell that this one is more pigmented and it also kept more of the like shimmery part of to the eyeshadow. So after using this, I honestly don't think I could ever apply loose glitters or loose pigments the same way ever again and also it just really comes in handy when I want to use a shimmer eyeshadow but I don't want to go through the hassle of like wetting a normal brush and all that. This one just works really well and it's super affordable. Alright, and that wraps up all of my favorite eye brushes. Of course, you'll be seeing me use a ton of different brushes in my tutorials, and I may mention other brushes that are going to be my favorites, but this is what I just tried to narrow down so that the video wasn't like five hours long. I really hope that this was helpful so that you could find some new brushes to help you out blend out your eyeshadow. Again, I think it's so important to find the perfect brush for your eye, and it will just help you blend so much more. Like I mentioned before, I do have a code for the Makeup Shack, and Sigma Beauty 
Both the codes are TESFX and they both are affiliate codes so I do make a commission if you use those codes but I really really appreciate it if you do use them but please don't feel pressured to use them. If you're interested in seeing a favorite face brushes video then please let me know down in the comments and I'll try and get that one done here pretty soon. I don't feel like I have as many favorite face brushes. I pretty much use like the same couple so that one shouldn't be as long as this one. Don't forget to subscribe on your way out. I post once a week and that way you will not miss an upload. And with all that being said, I'll see you guys next week. Bye.